Ah, uh, summertime in New York City. Could there be anything better? The greenery of the trees made me smile. Unlike others, I was a fan of the heat and thrived under the warmth beaming on me. I wanted to take a moment to soak it all in, but my mother expected punctuality, and I was already 10 minutes late. I glanced down at my Apple Watch. Okay, 15 minutes. As one of NYC's top pediatric surgeons, my mom had to squeeze me into her fully packed calendar. But when she could, I considered it a win. I bumped into a man in a suit arguing on his Bluetooth and sidestepped a mom pushing her kid in a stroller. Finally, I broke free of the crowd and lengthened my strides. Nona's came into view and I sighed in relief. The Italian restaurant would most likely be packed at this hour, everyone attempting to grab lunch before heading back to their offices. Fortunately, it was a school holiday and I didn't have to worry about rushing. I bounded up the steps of the stone marble building and through the automatic doors. An air-conditioned breeze welcomed me with a whoosh, and my arms pebbled with goosebumps as I headed for the hostess podium. Do you have a reservation? The cool disdain on the hostess's face would have put a damper on my mood if it weren't for the fact that most hostesses in the city had that practiced, bored look. Yes, it should be under Marie Bio. I smiled, hoping kindness would chip away at her bad mood. She scanned the readout before her. This way. She pivoted on her heels and strolled through the busy dining room. As if Moses led her way, the other wait staff moved, making the aisle clear for her procession. The restaurant was filled with families, businessmen, and couples bonding over Italian dishes. A nervous energy filled my gut as I followed the hostess to the second dining area. Mom only ate here when she wanted to share important news. No matter how hard I'd tried to think of what she could possibly want to talk about, my ideas fizzled. The hostess came to a stop and motioned toward a table for two, then made her way back up to the front of the restaurant. My mother stood, a grin covering her face. Brielle, I'm so happy to see you. She wrapped her arms around me.